everyone, welcome to this updated video. I really hope you're doing fantastic and we'll be taking a look at what is happening across the Atlantic Basin. Now currently we can see that area of low pressure and all that associated activity out there. And there's also a frontal system which is in the vicinity of the Caribbean but for the most part there isn't anything crazy going on across the basin. Looking to northern South America, we're seeing a lot of thunderstorm activity in Colombia and also for parts of southern Venezuela. Not much not going on for the Guyanas right now. So as we zoom further into the Caribbean here, we can see a couple of cloud patches here and there. And there's also some dust which has moved in and is still blanketing uh, many of the eastern islands of the Caribbean, the Lesser Antilles, the ABC Islands, and parts of northern South America as well. And speaking of, let's go on to that right now. So this is the forecast for later tonight. And uh, here we're seeing all these brown shadings and the darker brown indicates those areas of denser dust. So across the ABC Islands, parts of northern Colombia, Venezuela, the Guyanas as well, Trinidad, Tobago, and uh, through much of the rest of the Lesser Antilles. Now, as we're going to be heading into early next week, go into Monday, here we can see some of this dust still loitering around the eastern Caribbean, spreading up towards maybe parts of the eastern portion of the Dominican Republic, as well as Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And uh, for the southeastern islands, though, such as Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, maybe even St. Lucia and Barbados, things will be clearing up a little bit. And even further improvement as the week would go on. So that is the forecast guys the dust will eventually dissipate for the most part but we can see that things are still expected to be very dry and dusty out in much of the main development region now as it relates to the forecast for tomorrow uh between now and tomorrow afternoon rather here we're seeing that not a whole lot of colorful shadings across the caribbean islands there may be some showers moving by parts of jamaica hispaniola especially in the south also for puerto rico and parts of the Lesser Antilles, there could be some passing showers, but elsewhere, much is not expected in terms of rainfall. But as we head to northern South America, parts of Colombia and Venezuela, there may be some additional heavy rain, especially for Colombia near the Pacific coast, but things may be a bit on the drier side over in the Guyanas. And again, there's already that dust which has moved into the area. Now we're moving on to the wind forecast. We can see that for the most part, things are going to be pretty tranquil across most of the Caribbean islands. Maybe the maximum winds up to around 10 or even 15 knots. But for many islands, it's going to be on the tranquil side. So it's not too crazy either. Now, as it relates to the upcoming uh, week, there is likely to be a major storm system developing. So we'll be showing you guys what models are showing and the impacts that we could anticipate. So let's get straight into it. We'll be looking at the GFS run first. Here we go. And uh, there we have the time up there and all these green shadings are indicative of the precipitation rate. And when we see especially those yellows and oranges starting to pop up, that is a lot of rainfall. So let us see what the model is showing here. So this is as we head out into Sunday. There we see that low pressure system and all the associated moisture and that front developing as well, bringing its impacts to the Bahamas and much of the northern Caribbean, we even see that stream of activity moving through the Lesser Antilles. So this front could be very, very impactful. And with it as well, there's going to be that drop in temperatures across much of the Caribbean. And there may even be some periods of very heavy rain. I'll be showing you what Euro is forecasting for the next 10 days in a moment. Let's move on to other runs. Let's go to Euro. There we're seeing that airflow pressure developing the associated front moving through the Greater Antilles. Uh, and even stretching further south into the Caribbean as it makes its way by. So a lot of activity expected to be in association with that front. And the ICON model is also in agreement with it as we head to Sunday. There we're seeing that low over the southeast U.S. eventually moving offshore. And all of that moisture making its way through with the front. So again, there's going to be that drop in temperatures. Models are agreeing about that. This is what GFS is showing. So as we head to around uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's really when that cool air is going to be setting into the Caribbean and spreading across much of the islands, even towards the Lesser Antilles as we head through the week, going towards the weekend. Looking at the Euro forecast in terms of the rainfall accumulation through the next 10 days. So this goes all the way out to Monday, the 12th of February. And here we are seeing some of these purple and these pink and peach shades popping up. So take a look at the northeastern islands, the Leeward Islands, Virgin Islands, even parts of Puerto Rico. So there could be a lot of heavy rain 
with the passage of this frontal system. And of course, northern South America is quite active. It's along the intertropical convergence zone. That's where it's located, where those trade winds meet. And sometimes there's a lot of atmospheric instability. So lots of thunderstorms develop and the area receives some substantial rainfall. So nothing very uncommon, but there could be quite the rainfall increase for parts of the Northeast Caribbean next week. And I'll be watching the trends. I'll be keeping you guys posted on it. I have been talking about it, so I'll continue to do so. And with that, winds may kick up significantly as well. Tropical storm force winds, especially in the Gulf and the Northwestern Caribbean. This is what you're forecasting for Tuesday. And we're seeing some of these green shading. So some of these winds could be 35 even 40 knots as well that's definitely tropical storm force winds and the gusts could be even stronger than that maybe up to 60 miles per hour or so so winds are going to be kicking up things are pretty tranquil for now but with that next uh storm system that will be developing in the associated front we could be in for uh quite the impact as we head into next week but as i said i'll be keeping you guys posted on it and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update video and i really hope you found it to be quite informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond when i can and remember to always be weatherwise